Should I try and do a backflip with these clothes on? Oh my god. Oh gosh, oh, I'm god. scared. A backflip with 50 layers of clothes on. Oh. That's so sick. Welcome back to another GM Golf video. God, that was so good. This already sucked. Trying to put all these ones on first. I'm trying to do this strategically. I can already feel. Oh, man. Oh, this shirt's really small. This is bad. This is really bad. This is not, this is not good. It's starting to become an issue. Ah. Oh, this shirt is so small. I'm a rock. So anyway, little update. We originally were trying to put 50 layers of clothes on ourselves. And I believe we might have like 15 more layers. Essentially, we're gonna put on as many more as we can and then call it good because like the circulation up here yeah. is hard to feel. So like hitting a golf ball, like that's yeah. how the circulation. So if we pass out on the course. If you guys haven't liked the video down below already, you guys can do that if you want to, Matt's. A lot of buff this year. Anyway, we're gonna put on as many more as we can and then head to the course and start this video. We are done putting the layers of the clothes on, guys. We're gonna head to the course now and see if we can play golf. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. We are currently headed to the junior course. I'm not really sure how many holes we're gonna be playing in today's challenge, but all I know is I don't think I'm gonna be able to swing the golf club halfway back. Matt. Nope. It's gonna be tough. I'm just not even, nope. Garden glove. Not short, just not as tall as you. It's a little chilly Why out am here. I still cold. I don't know. I don't, by the way, guys, if you want to buy one of these beanies, link will be in the description. GMAttire.com. At the first hole of the junior course, we're gonna be playing the tips. I don't know how many holes. I think we might play like three or four. I'm not really sure. It's getting dark, also. So we got that going for us. I'm surprised both of us are still super cold after putting all these layers on. Wait, do you know where your batteries are? No, oh, they're in my backpack. Matt's gonna be hitting the first shot. Not only are we playing golf today with a bunch of layers on, we're also using winter gloves. So we might not even be able to hang on to the club. First hole here is roughly 200 and some odd yards, just straight over those trees right over there. The odds of hitting this as far as normal are just about zero. Oh my okay. God. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's really solid. Guys, okay, so it's hard, I'm not gonna lie to you, but if you're good at golf, it's easy. So Steven, you would not be good at this. He's gonna hit this so good, watch. Ah! <laughs> Where did that go? Dude, that's so good. Just right of the green. Update, Matt's running back to get a battery because he forgot it. The sun is setting over there, so we don't have that much time. And he's back with the batteries. Walking up to the green here, I think Matt's about 40 yards away on the right side. I should be just right and just short of the green, so we both have chips to get up and down for a three. We're playing stroke play today. Dude, imagine going out in public, 50 layers on, and go out into public. Table for 50, please, because I forget about it. It's funnier in my head. Guys, here's where Matt's balling it up. Just short in the middle of the fairway. Mine's all the way up there, just right of the green. First chip shot. What are you thinking before you hit it? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Duncan. Guard gloves does not make it easy. That's gotta go. Bruh. Yeah, that was a good shot. Like, that was a really good shot, though. Matt's leaving everything short. Shut up! Tipping this in. A lot harder than you think, okay? Now, I'm excited to hit my shot and prove it to you that it's not that hard. All right, Matt for a four. Kind of needs to get that one up and down. Yeah, now I'm probably gonna hit this really well. It felt weird to me. I have a weird garden glove. I don't know what's going on in this thing. I was picking weeds out of the bushes. Ooh, almost made that. All right, so I'm way far out here. There's Garrett for par. I need to make this for five and go two down. Matt up the hill, right to left putt. Really needs to make this to have any sort of a chance. Four or five. Oh, yes! he did it. You need to miss. He's probably not gonna miss you guys. That's okay. Oh my, Garrett. Right. Nice. I am only one down. All right, so after hole one, I am now one over par. I guess since we played that as a par three, Matt is two over par. On to hole two, which is another par three, around 125 yards straight away. I'm gonna be hitting probably a pitching wedge because I don't think I'll be able to swing full swing and hit a gap wedge. Here we go, 17% battery with a 17% chance of meatballs. Beautiful weather, as you can clearly see. It's about 
59 degrees outside. Yeah, Garrett Clark now, ready to dial in. Right side. Right side. Great looking shot there, Jim. Is it on the green? Yeah, I think so. It's tough to see because it's so dark. Same club for me. Sorry for the poor video quality, guys. Um, all right, Matt also using a pitching wedge. Oh, that should be really good. That is really good. Just short of the green. That Dang was right it, at it, though. It's a solid shot, though. That's what we're looking at. That's pretty dope. Kansas City Sunsets, underrated. Look at this right here. This looks sick. Hey, it's all about the cinematic shot, man. How can you make it better? How can you make yourself look better? All right, um, so that's the pin right there. Not too much green to work with, but this is what Matt's looking up, up the hill. Probably... Thumb up just a little bit so we don't make the same mistake. That's gotta go. Oh. 60 degree, Matt, you need to hit a chip shot onto the green. That I'm one's really a little it. long. Um, that's what I'm looking at for birdie right over there, guys. Garrett, looking for a dub here. Does he get it? No, he does not, leaves it. What? That is two times in a row that we've played this hole that I left it an inch short. A lot of famous goodies. You gotta uh, get it, bro. Uh, you what gotta be kidding me! That deserved at least 10,000 likes. You what? tapped that in there! Well, guys, after hole two, I'm currently one over par. This is for Matt to remain at two over par and one down. And that one's Dang gonna it. be short. Matt, you're gonna go two down. Shut up! Matt is currently three over par through two. Come here! Guys, I'm fine. I can still win. I just have to get a better mentality going. Should I try and do a backflip with these clothes on? Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh I'm god. scared. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna land one. Oh. You do one. The problem with like backflips is you use all core. Yeah. Oh, that was easy for you. Because you can't like, because I'm so used to like tucking with it. All right, anyway, get it now. Oh. Uh. That's going to be about 30 yards short of the green, guys. Nine iron, climbed up a little bit. That's smart play, guys. Uh, it is straight into the wind. I probably should have hit nine. That's right at the pin. Maybe just a little right of the pin. That's going to be a little short, but still, that was a solid shot. Short. This GMB, guys, if you haven't checked it out, down below. GMAttire.com. So this is where my ball ended up. Probably, yeah, about 40 yards seven short of the green. Out. That's Matt right up there, just short of the green, so. Probably seven iron out for you. <laughs> Garrett now, probably got a. What am I, two down? You are currently two down. You literally have to make it. Remember the last time I did this, I almost made it? This is Matt, just short of the green. Get it up and down, four par. If he makes this, he'll have a chance. Oh, solid shot though. All right, this is for me to shoot one over par through three holes. Yeah. That's pretty solid. Oh, yes, that's what you get for trying to walk it in. Still beat you. Yeah, I know. Get out of here, Leaf. All right, guys, Matt down the hill to make par. Mm. All right, that's about it for today's video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned to the next one. Until next time, you guys, thank you. Make sure you check out the GM Beanie hoodies, the Schmidt and Schmears, and the everything else. Seriously, though, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Lots more content coming. Update also, Micah Moore is coming back uh, in January. Me, Matt, Steven, and Micah will be starting a podcast, so if you guys are interested in that, it'll be on a separate channel. We're super excited for that. Lots of cool stuff coming to GM Golf giveaway on my channel merch for Matt soon hopefully and Steven as well so just stay tuned for lots of cool stuff 2020 is going to be a good year hopefully you guys did have a fantastic new year and a merry christmas thank you guys for watching today's video if you did ensure stay if you <laughs> cut if you did <laughs> if you did enjoy today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy <laughs> start over hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did be sure to stay tuned for the next one until next time guys we need to go drink some more coffee yeah, that's a great idea. The camera is about to run out of battery. There you go. And when it does, the video is going to end and it doesn't. I want you to be mid-sentence. Talk about, how was your day?